Keeling on the run out. Anthony, the finish! What's up, Pinky Gang? It's your boy Zach back with another video. And in today's video, we have a Cole Anthony build creation, the fourth rendition of the series on the channel. So if you haven't already checked out the series, make sure to go check it out after watching this video. So let's get straight into it. This is the face creation for Cole Anthony. And basically what we do here is we give you the face creation, the attributes, and all of their attributes and physicals are accurate to what they would be in real life, like their height, their weight, their wingspan, all that good stuff. And what we do after that is we give you the badges. We take this player into my career and tell you what to upgrade if you were to actually create this build. So you have nothing to worry about. If you guys are new to the channel, first off, make sure to subscribe and like this video. But we have made this for other players like James Wiseman, Obi Toppin, and Lamella Ball. So make sure to go check those out. You guys seem to love these videos. So if you guys like that, go smash like on all those videos and uh, comment down below if you like it. And let's get straight straight into the build. All right, so we have Cole Anthony here at point guard. He's right-handed, jersey number is two. That stuff really doesn't matter. Unless you want to become just like him, you could go whatever you personally prefer, but this is how you get him just like Cole Anthony. For the skill breakdown, we're gonna choose the finishing and shooting one, which has really good playmaking. It's a very well-balanced offensive build. You can get contact dunks at a certain overall. You can shoot great, you can shoot lights out. So this is the one you want to pick to get your player to play like Cole Anthony. For the physical profile, you want to pick the one with the most speed and the most vertical to jump out of the gym. He has a tremendous vertical. He's also really fast and he's a small guard and that's what you need to get blocks and rebounds and stuff at that height. So what we want to do here is we're going to max out our close shot, our driving layup, and our driving dunk and get our standing dunk to where we get a 35 standing dunk to get 16 finishing badges. For our shooting, we're going to max out our mid range, our three point our post fade we're also going to max out all of our shooting here so we can get right at 21 shooting badges for our playmaking what we're going to do is we're going to max out our pass accuracy and our ball handle so we have 13 playmaking badges if you want you could take off one of the pass accuracy put it somewhere else but i think that we should put it and max out our pass accuracy and for our defense we're going to max out our perimeter defense our lateral quickness our steel we're going to put the remaining attributes on our defensive rebound and as you can see, we have an 84 speed, an 82 acceleration, a 91 vert, a 56 strength, which isn't gonna matter too much because you're a point guard. Um, you have 16 finishing badges, 21 shooting, 13 playmaking, and eight defensive and rebounding badges. So you're gonna have a ton of badges on this build. This build is gonna be very versatile. This build is gonna be very good at everything on the court. You can do basically everything. You have enough defensive badges to be a defensive presence. You have enough finishing badges to dunk on everybody and you get enough shooting badges to shoot lights out like a Peter Sharp, and you can still play make with your 13 playmaking badges. For the body shape, I chose solid. I think it kind of looks like Cole Anthony, but it doesn't really matter what you choose, but this is what I picked. For the height, you want to go six foot three here. And for the weight, he actually weighs 190 pounds. For the wingspan, you're going to want to go down to 76.8 because that is the closest to his in real life wingspan. So as you can see, we now have an 83 mid-range shot, an 82 three-pointer, and an 84 ball control. Now we do lose a little bit of our steal, but that doesn't really matter too much because this build is more of an offensive type of player. And once we hit 97 overall with this player, we can speed boost. So I think we should pick slashing takeover. Obviously you can choose any of these, it's all personal preference, but for Cole Anthony, I would go slasher takeover. As you can see, we have built an offensive threat so let's go right into the badges. All right, now that we're loaded in here, we're gonna test our potential. We're gonna put ourselves at a 99 overall just to get the best version of your player. Um, for our finishing, we're gonna go Hall of Fame Contact Finisher, Hall of Fame Giant Slayer, Hall of Fame Slithery, and I would go Bronze Lob City and Gold Consistent Finisher. Now, obviously, it's all up to your preference, but this is what I personally would like to use on a 6'3 offensive threat that is called Anthony. I feel like it'll just be really good for using this type of player. For our shooting badges, we're going to go Hall of Fame Quick Draw, Hall of Fame Range Center. I would put on Hall of Fame Hot Zone Hunter, but if you're going to test the build out, you don't need it. But I'm just going to keep this on for what you should use when you actually have the up, when you have your guys' hot zones and stuff. But what I'm going to do is going to max out Volume Shooter put catch and shoot silver bronze clutch shooter and silver green machine for our playmaking badges obviously you want to get that bronze bailout one of the craziest overpowered 
um, bronze badges in the game. We're gonna want gold quick first step, gold dimer, gold handles for days, and I would either go gold space creator, or gold unpluckable. I'm gonna go with space creator. For our defense, I'm gonna go gold clamps, gold intimidator, and silver interceptor for our defensive badges. As you can see, we have three Hall of Fames in finishing and four Hall of Fames in shooting. This build just gets a ton of badges. Um, so this build is gonna be really good to use. Um, now let's get into the upgrades. All right, so if you were to make this build and upgrade them to an 85, this is what I personally would do to get your build perfect. Um, so yeah, upgrade these categories if you want to get the build to play the best it possibly can off rip. If we look at our physicals at 85, we get 83 speed, 81 excel, 56 strength, and 85 vert, which is pretty good off the rip. And so yeah, you're gonna have some pretty good physicals, pretty good stats right out the box. This build's gonna be insane. So yeah, that's the upgrades. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. It really means a lot to me. If you made it to the end of the video, make sure to drop a like and subscribe if you haven't already. We're trying to hit 500 subscribers and I have a very special video coming for you guys if we hit 500 subscribers. So stay tuned for that and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace. She said it's 1.30 a.m. Tell me what you call for. I just need somebody real to tell me what it's all for. You know what you stand for. You know what you fall for. Said you don't believe in me. What well, that's your son called for. These things take time. You just gotta trust me. You got reason to doubt everybody here but me. Said I'm taking off here. All they do is judge me. She told me I was childish. I